From Los Angeles to a worldwide audience, this is Boaz Power TV, where we take your life to the next level. Now, internationally known speaker and author, here's Boaz. Hi, welcome to the Power Show. You are part of the Power Nation. Here we take your life to the next level, help you improve your attitude, your relationships, your finances, and your career. This is episode number 53 on Boaz Power TV. I call this one to speak or not to speak. Let me tell you what happened on uh, November 19th, 1863, out in the middle of nowhere in Pennsylvania. A big throng of soldiers had gotten together and there were a couple of speakers that day. In fact, the most famous speaker in the country at the time in 1863 was Edward Everett. He spoke for some two hours and then a tall, thin man with a beard got up and spoke for just a few minutes and literally riveted the nation. Abraham Lincoln on that date gave the Gettysburg Address, which was a masterpiece in healing and reconciliation after an amazing civil war. And I'm not here to suggest that you should become a good speaker like Abraham Lincoln was, but I'm here to tell you that being able to get up and speak in front of people is a shortcut to distinction. In fact, Dale Carnegie in the book, How to Win Friends and Influence People, which I promote all over the world in my seminars, he says, being able to speak in front of people is a shortcut to distinction. But then we've got the problem that uh, it's one of the great fears. There are three big fears from what I know. One is loud noises, two is falling, and three is giving speeches in front of people, which I guess would lead me to think that you should not be giving a loud speech as you're falling off a building. But because it is such a big fear, well, how can we improve on that? Because it might help you to get a raise, to get some people to follow you if you wanted to get some venture capital, to get your company to move ahead if you had the ability to speak in front of people. So let me give you some basic concepts of how I teach CEOs and other people all over the world how to become confident speakers. One, don't ever agree to get up and speak about a topic you have no knowledge about. You know, if somebody asked me to speak about rocket science, I'd have to say, excuse me, with all due respect, I am not your expert on rocket science but I'll be glad to call NASA or Goddard and get you an expert on rocket science. So do not agree to speak in front of anybody about a topic you have no knowledge about. Number two, never go up without some basic notes. This is huge. Not word for word, do not memorize a speech. I did it once in the middle of a speech. I couldn't tell you my name. I totally blanked out. So don't memorize a speech, but have some note cards. Have some note cards that have some basic notes on them, like three by five cards. When I started doing seminars back in the early 80s, and I did hundreds all over the country, I used note cards. In fact, these are my very note cards. There are 18 of them that I used all over the country in 300 live seminars in 37 states. Now notice it's not word for word, they're just basic points. Like on this note card, there are six or seven main points. On the next note card, there are a few other points. There are four on this one. And by the way, when you take note cards, please number them. Notice they're numbered at the top. I didn't do that at first, but the first time I dropped my note cards, I realized I better number them. So number your cards. And then, um, oh, it's a pretty good jokes here too. Had the punchlines to jokes and everything because I wanted to make sure I followed a certain direction in my presentation. So here's another idea for you. Just ask a question at the beginning. If you're asked to get up and speak in front of anybody and you're making your notes ahead of time, pose a question. Why do I like public speaking? Might be a question for me. If you're an architect, how did I become an architect? An audience loves an opening question because they're with you. And then tell them, I'm gonna cover three main points. An audience likes to follow an outline. So in your outline, you list three main points. So let's say my speech was, how did, how did I become a public speaker? That's my question to the audience. I'm gonna cover three points. Number one, in high school, I had uh, opportunities to do theater and lead in seminars in school, and that helped me build some confidence when I was in college. Point number two, I started doing some speeches at local civic clubs in Oklahoma, Co Kiwanis, Rotary Clubs, and so forth. And number three, eventually someone offered me some money to speak. So in conclusion, that's how I became a professional speaker. Do you follow what I'm doing here? You write down a question and you tell the audience you're gonna cover three main points. 
cover those three points and let them know I'm now on point number one, now here's point number two, now here's point number three, and then you write down a conclusion. So in conclusion, that's how I became a professional speaker. I've used this outline with CEOs all over the world, with homemakers, with people working in charities, and then get up and actually follow your outline on your cards. Just follow your outline on your cards. I guarantee you, do this once or twice, it'll be amazing. Always use the same outline. And if you're asked to speak for longer than just a few minutes, you can just embellish each one of the three points by having some sub points under each one. Amazing, just amazing how simple this is. And once you get up, people give you credit for being very knowledgeable, being very smart, being a great leader. So I'm encouraging you, take some opportunities, get up and speak in front of some people and you'll be amazed what opportunities will come your way. Let's review how we get our power back because much of the problem that many people have is they don't feel they have the power because they have no control over their finances. So here are my main points that I want to get across to you time after time after time. These are the points that helped me to turn my life around when I was going in the wrong direction financially. Take your power back. One, lower your expenses, live a little below your means. Number two, pay in cash. If you can't afford something, wait. It's an old concept. I think it has potential. Number three, pay off your debts. I got to tell you, it feels great not to owe money. Pay off your debts and then save some money. Cash is king. Save some money. So the affirmation for today's message on Boaz Power TV is I am a confident speaker. I am a confident speaker. Just write it down. I know what you're saying, but Boaz, I'm not. But would you like to be? Of course you would. So let's sell that point to our mind first. You got to see it up here first before you can actually perform it. So write down the affirmation, I am a confident speaker. Say first thing in the morning, last thing at night, when you first wake up and just before you fall asleep, give me 30 days of you saying that. Use my outline and you will see. You'll be amazed what opportunities will come your way because you have the guts to get up, use your outline and speak in front of people. If you like these messages, and many people around the world do, they find them very beneficial, please forward this to five people you know. Suggest they go to my website, boazpower.com, and get them to sign up for this free weekly broadcast. And by the way, I also have a YouTube channel. If you want to see a whole bunch of these messages, here is my connection to the YouTube channel, Boaz Power TV. Just go to youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Boaz Power TV and you'll find many, many of my messages right there. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for joining me. You are special. You are unique. You are destined for greatness, and you are a champion. Have a powerful day. This has been Boaz Power TV. To comment, see other episodes, or to subscribe to this free broadcast, go to our blog at boazpower.com. That's boazpower.com. We're here to take your life to the next level.